Here comes the Austrian anomaly, Gunther. A man with one purpose, to prove the math sacred. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium oh from Vienna, so Austria. Great. Weighing in at 297 pounds. Without question, Gunther has made an immediate impact since his arrival. A truly dominant specimen. And a specimen who is as ready as ever to chop clean through the competition. Hey, he puts others to the test, and they often come up short. He moves with such a purpose, absolutely no wasted energy. Well, that's because Gunther is saving himself completely for the battle ahead. Yeah, but he does manage to make his entrance as intimidating as possible. Double champ in the building. Skills so nice, they call him champ twice. And his opponents from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 205 pounds, the WWE United States Champion and the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Logan Paul! Just think about the grind that comes with being a double champion. As great as the glory is, the hard work that comes with it is no joke. Yeah, he may look good showing off the gold, but he's got to look good defending it as well. Otherwise, it'll be gone. This man will not let either of those titles out of his grasp. A determined look on the face of the double champion. The agile and unpredictable scripts is in the building. And from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 180 pounds, Scripps! Scripps came up the hard way in St. Louis, and now he uses those street smarts in the ring. Add that to his ridiculous acrobatic ability, and Scripps is one tough competitor. Three of WWE's top competitors ready for this triple threat match. All set for action, and in this one, we see Gunther, Logan Paul, and Scripps. The significance of this match being no countouts or disqualifications can't be understated. Not only do you have to worry about a second opponent, but you gotta worry about your adversaries fighting dirty and it being perfectly legal. that forearm. Big forearm. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Back body draw. Oh, you see the height on that? Toss their opponent. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. He can end it here. Oh, right right down. It cinched it. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Now we're talking. This sledgehammer might be what decides this match. Good God, what a force. The hammer dropped. Literally, something might be broken. Byron, how does this matchup require a different mindset? 
A superstar must be prepared to go all out. Be as aggressive and vicious as possible. Remember, it's no disqualification. The superstars can do whatever they want, but it can only end with a three count or a tap out. And Guther clearly not impressed by his opponent thus far. Oh my God, a DDT! Spike them. Landing a big hit with that hammer. There are plenty of ways battling in this area could end in serious harm. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. These are the kind of attacks that completely throw off your equilibrium. This is getting more and more alarming with each uninterrupted attack. Reversal from Scripps. Whip back into the ring. Scripps now with a fierce set of maneuvers. Heavy work being done to Logan Paul right now. And Logan isn't looking helpless anymore. It's time for Paul to take advantage of a misstep and take command. Lariat! Knee drop. Claw to the face, ripping at the eyes. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. Right across the throat, into the ring now. Ooh, well measured. He may be in a bad way here. It's expected, Cole. In a triple threat match, the target on your back is twice the size. Face full of turnbuckle. Oh, that didn't look good for Scripps. Continuing to attack the neck across the top rope. He got whipped into that corner. He catches Guther with a big counter. Raw drop kick. Escape just in time. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Ooh, right to the throat. Shoulders down. The ref caught in the front of that. Get ready, Saxton. You might be the replacement. Gets him with the counter. Great job refocusing to reverse that. This could be big. Oh, a sudden cut. The scripts can end this now. exciting a triple threat match as we've had here in WWE in recent memory. I cannot even imagine how any of these men feel after a match like that. All I can really say is that they put on a triple threat match for the ages.
Oh, I can't wait for this tag team matchup. This is going to be a good one. Important match. Oh, and from behind an ambush. These four can't stand each other. We're getting a little pre-match beatdown. That was dirty. What they just did was tilt the match in their own favor. Some would call that a great move, great strategy. Finally, these superstars have made it to the ring after a vicious surprise attack while entering. Just overexcited for this match, that's all. They couldn't stand to wait until they actually got in the ring. Or it was a calculated plan to get the... And now he breaks the hold. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent and tossing their opponent like they're nothing. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Snake eyes! Oh, the face has been planted. <laughs> Dawkins with the reversal. Uh-oh. Knew what was coming there. Stops the incoming attack with a knee to the face. Uncorked a big punch. Punishing the leg. The legs are a base that you do not want to lose. Chopping down the tree at the base here. And right between the shoulder blades. Will this be enough? Roll break. Pin stops. This is getting intense. Someone check on Saxton. This their opponent's uh, legs. Uh, oh. is alley -oop. Saga is keeping constant pressure on his opponent. This is where Dawkins will be tested. Gotta find a way back in this. Tilt the wall slam. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Flip jack. Way up there. Setting up. Has them up, nice waist lock takedown, holding on, how about another? Repeated waist lock takedowns. Clearly an attack that very few superstars can perform with such ease. Impressive display of power. The power on display right now is ridiculous. Oh, targeting the arm, this has got to hurt. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Reversal, can he take advantage? And look at this now, Bennett. He's flailing, desperately trying to get out of this situation. Oh, great counter. He's been placed in the corner now. Laying into the arm, big time. And the pressure of Saga continues to mount. Yeah, Dawkins isn't giving any quarter now. Face buster. Well, it looks like Saga might be bleeding now. Gets the tag. Taking a moment to get pumped. Tag made, tandem offense on the horizon here. Set up for a sidewalk slam. Connecting with the elbow drop. No doubt, Sangha ended this. You can just sense the animosity in the ring right now. This rivalry has really heated up. I heard these superstars avoid each other like the plague outside the ring. Yeah, unless they got a chance to duke it out, they don't want to be anywhere near each other. Clobbered with the axe handles. Yes, tag! Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch! He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. No. Oh, no! No, that was a harebrained idea to try that. Was trying to find a way to attack, but completely wiped out. Oh my goodness. Three. Boom! Saga feet.
feeling the energy. The energy from this crowd. Oh, what a clubbing blow. And we are down to the proverbial wire here, guys. The match hanging in the balance. Time to get back in the ring. Draped across the top rope. Clubbing four. Oh my gosh, with one hand. He is just reeling from that offense. Yeah, they snuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Return fire from Dawkins. Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. Snake eyes! Clean tag for his partner. Drop kick! Rolling outside, and he's looking like he wants nothing to do with it. Strike to the back. DDT. Fresh man in. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Big knee to the midsection. Gets out of there in a hurry. Uh-oh. Oh, saw what was coming and answers with the clothesline. Veer looking to bait his opponent into a mistake. Big knee. And right between the shoulder blades. Great counter. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. What a chancery. Top rope, here we go. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. And he slides him back to the mat. Snap! Alex! Placing them right where they want them into the corner. This not stop blows. Stop to the gut. Oh dear, this doesn't look good. That's a free fall. Tag made. Close line. What impact. The three. He just won't give up. Ah! DDT. Talk about devastation. This is it. Ah, picking up the victory as his opponent does his best. Saxton stares up at the lights. Here I go. So we have our winner, though everyone in this arena knows it took a sneak attack to pull it off. It's got to hurt having a potential win stolen from you like this. Hey, they could have launched a surprise attack of their own. That's on them.
a superstar uh, ready to go here. And here comes their opponent tonight. Well, their opponent doesn't seem to be any rush to get inside the ring. Yeah, not at all. Wait a minute, wait. Is the superstar walking away? Turn around! Uh-oh. In the hard way! This superstar has no choice! They wanted nothing to do with this match here tonight. Yeah, this competitor has been running scared, trying to avoid confrontation. We've already seen how the bad blood is boiling over prior to this match, but now that we are officially underway, there's no telling what will happen here. Respect's obviously overrated, Cole. This is the true fuel for a superstar, bad blood. And bad blood gets a lot more results than insincere respect. Why does it have to be insincere? Because why would you sincerely respect anyone whose job it is to try to knock you in the dirt before you can do the same to them? Think about it, Saxton. Think. I appreciate someone who doesn't pretend for even a second. Oh, she fights Scarlet back. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Talk about dismantling your opponent. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh, man, looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. The WWE's resident spitfire, Caden Carter, really doesn't make it easy for her opponents to find an answer to her high energy. While Carter does have incredible energy, I'd argue things are a bit different for her here, Cole. She isn't used to the pacing of singles action. She's got the shoulders down. Making sure to get her shoulder up after two. That would have been absolutely shocking to end the match this early. She manages to get control. Yeah. Running clothesline. Oh, just turn that around. Oh, what an elbow high on the chin. And the momentum's clearly against Scarlett now. If ever a time for Scarlett to let the genie out of the bottle, it's now. Launching. Oh, great elevation. first. The springboard attack fails to land. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. No way. Oh, straight to the floor. An absolutely foolhardy decision made there. That could be very costly. I don't know if the risk was worth it. Something of a competitive edge has been brewing between these superstars lately. A drive to prove it really has the upper hand here. Their competition can really bring out the best in people, and I think we will be seeing that from them here and beyond. Flinged across the way. Looking bad for her here. Ooh, can she score the pin? And the referee stops the count before two. She's still in this one. Sent into the corner. Close line in the corner. <laughs> Continuing to attack the neck across the top rope. Oh, well scouted by Carter. Carter able to stop the blitz that was coming her way. If Carter was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. Arm ringer applied. Top wrist lock, opponent down to one knee. Now starts to fight out with some punches to the gut. Check this out, guys. Double underhook coming. Byron's gonna love this. The dude buster. Scarlet with a game ender. Shoulder up. How did that not end things for her? She's showing incredible resiliency. The best shot was thrown, but it couldn't put this match away. A 
able to sidestep it. Face Buster! She's about to rise up to something catastrophic. Look out! Suicide dive! Pinpoint precision right on target. Got the leg and elbow drop. Controlling the arm. The hammerlock. Flatliner. That move shows you Carter's desire to win here. These women have not given each other any breathing room. No one is showing any signs of backing down. For the victory here. Respect shown to them before the bell. You can't deny that it gave them a bit of an edge in this one. An edge that drove them to come out on top. Well, they might have won this match with the goal of getting respect in mind, but I just hope they didn't poke the bear. Come on, Corey. It's a celebration. When the lights go out, you must run. Bray Wyatt has arrived. Nothing but darkness in the eyes of Bray Wyatt. Darkness and bad intentions.
A chill hangs in the air. Here is the originator of British Strong Style. And his opponent from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates! This is a man who captured the NXT UK Championship as a teenager. Yeah, and he's only gotten better since. Same fighting spirit, but stronger and smarter than ever. This competitor is facing an opponent with unparalleled mind games tonight. If he wants to beat Bray Wyatt, he needs to keep Wyatt out of his head. Tyler Bate calls himself the big, strong boy, despite his size, gets the message across. Bate exceeds all expectations, is a much bigger threat than he may appear to be. Yeah, Bate may be built like a cruiserweight, but he balances the scales with his unorthodox in-ring style and surprising power. He packs a deceptively strong punch. Bate is hoping those impressive ring skills will help him get the win here in this one. And he's standing in the ring across from the sadistic Bray Wyatt. That's not exactly something you can take lightly. Bray loves doling out punishment to his opponents. He genuinely enjoys it. Yeah, you can already see the twinkle in his eye. Just from the ideas he must have swirling around. Tyler Bate looking to lock it in. Billy. The Billy Goat's curse is broken. And this might not have a pleasant ending. He decides. Jeez. That is the kind of move that leaves our jaws on the floor. Unbelievable. Arm ringer applied. Oh my goodness, that might have snapped the finger. You can't let yourself get put in positions like that. You will get twisted and torqued. That's gotta be demoralizing. Being thrown around like that by a superstar a fraction of your size? Tyler Bate, a young competitor who has already accomplished so much, does that make him harder to defeat? It absolutely does, Cole. Bate has the confidence and stamina of youth. He's taken much bigger superstars to the limit, but the longer the match goes, even he starts to run out of steam. If you want to beat him, you have to be ready to outlast him. And will this be it? Pushes through after two. The end was in sight. the right time. Got to find a way to get out of this. Oh, put down face first. And this is just a vulgar display of ruthlessness. My God, enough! The better part of Valor. And Wyatt telling the crowd to watch him. Producing a trampling. Ah, look at this. So much damage inflicted. He's absorbed some damage already. Yeah, Bates just having a good time grinding him down. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. That might have... Tyler Bates looking to lock it in. Billy, good way to break the curse. Unique and effective maneuver from Wyatt. He has his opponent and the W. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. After everything these two men have been through, will it end like this? Will it end with a submission tap? 
He is in serious trouble here and finds his way out. Picture perfect drop kick. And a standing shooting star. Uh, Tyler Bank. Wow, breathtaking. Look at that. And you gotta think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Oh, Arm ringer applied. Arm ringer finger snap. Wyatt was waiting for that. What a sister in again. Tyler Bate suffering a loss here tonight. There's no telling what Bray's going to do with this win. There are endless possibilities for him now. The Blackheart. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing DIY from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. A multiple time NXT champion and has also held the NXT tag titles. And more main roster accolades undoubtedly on the way. Here comes a heavy hitter. Joe Coffey's here to hurt someone badly. A brawler who's paid his dues in battles across Europe and the United States. And he is thirsty and for his more. opponent. Representing Gallus from Glasgow, Scotland. Weighing in at 248 pounds, Joe Coffey! Joe Coffey always seems to be in a foul mood. And when he's smiling, that means things are going to get worse. Someone could get theirs at any time. Just when you think you got Joe Coffey where you want him, he flips the script on you. Joe Coffey's driven by his anger and his desire to incapacitate other humans. I agree that Coffey's not messing around, but if he's a true fighter, he shouldn't have to stoop to the depths we've seen Gallus resort to. We've seen since his days in NXT, Tommaso Ciampa is willing to do anything and everything he possibly can to secure a win, no matter the cost. 
As talented as he is in the ring, he's not the type of competitor you want to turn your back on. Yeah, if you turn your back on Ciampa in the ring, that's on you. And you can't fault Ciampa for fighting to win. That's what you're supposed to do. I wouldn't turn my back on him in catering either, Corey, is what I mean. That's the kind of guy Ciampa's proven himself to be. And now he's got to deal with the ire of Joe Coffey. Mean, merciless, McCurry. I don't know what it is, but there's got to be something in that Scottish water. Yeah, Coffey is an absolute terror, and there are no signs of him letting up. Well, maybe it's just me, but you can only be disrespected so many times like that before you start to develop a complex. You get slapped a lot, Corey? It's none of your business, Cole. Oh, my goodness. And repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. Tommaso Ciampa seems to draw from a nearly bottomless well of stamina. Slingshot! Oh, just completely off target there! Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not gonna provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. Held in a perilous position. Up released, Mike and Force! It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Boom, right in the button. First, a knife edge chop, and now continuing the attack on the knee. Straight to the knee. Wrestling 101. If you can't stand, you can't fight. Getting him into the corner. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Oh, and a reversal. Jarring European uppercut. Oh, look at this. Look at the suplex off the top rope. Oh, oh, oh. Jeez. Take all the wind out of you. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. And it's Champa having to endure some bad intentions there. Alley-oop. Boom, Joe with a timely counter. Great reversal. Close line in the corner. And he goes for the pin. He forces a break before the count of two. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Burying knees into the body. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. To the sky. Oh, my gosh. Able to evade. Coffee connects with a Glasgow cover, cover. Almost two and a half. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Things seem to be escalating between them. Yeah, Michael, what started as a disagreement, what's Joe going to do? Joe got it. Can he end it? Pin. Oh, shoulder up before three. Champa, no stranger to digging down deep, but that kick out took an insane amount of resolve. That was plan A, and it didn't work. He must be thinking about plan B at this point. What reflexes to stop Joe Coffey? Oh, impressive counter. Caught in a bad position here. Skillfully counters. Wow, oh, oh, Stelly. Yeah. Ooh, oh, knee lift. Oh man, he is fired up now. Ooh, stop to the tummy. Tummy. Yeah. Here comes Champa. Double underhook applied. Oh, oh, man. Fairy tale in me. Joe Coffey on his last breath. Wow, just barely making it out. No telling how much surviving that will cost, though. I don't know how someone kicks out of that. I don't know how you can still be standing. Pure and unfiltered disbelief on the face of Champa. He thought this was over, but this match will continue.
Incoming. Oh, misses the mark. Oh, my gosh. Oh, an uppercut. It was very European. Effectively using the knee. Oh, foot just stomping down. We might be close to the end. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. From the top, shot to the gut will break things up. Ooh. Going head to head, putting each other to the test. Ooh. And Champa continues to muster up all the energy he can. Coffee has to find a way to navigate through all this. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Ooh. Exhaustion setting in, and neither one of them is letting up. This is Larry. This could do it. And yeah, that's a big win right there. And I'm going to check on a. Uh, Oh, hold up, hold up. The, this superstar. No, oh, this is uncalled for. Now, what does this prove? Make way for the It Couple. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Maurice from Hollywood, California. Weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz. These two are such a wonderful couple because they have so much in common. Title reigns, reality television success, being beautiful. Here's another thing they have in common, Corey. They won't shut up about it all. Why would you shut up about that? These two even tag together at WrestleMania. It's Ugh. truly a beautiful love story. I wish you'd shut up about it. Here comes the Tower of Power, Die Jack. And 
his opponent from Worcester, Massachusetts, weighing in at 270 pounds. Dijak's a monster, a mercenary, ready to decimate any competitor. I wouldn't limit Dijak's destruction to who's in front of him. He's out here taking people out from all angles. Yeah, Dijak's throwing bullseyes on anybody he chooses. I personally hope the next target's on you, Saxton. Underneath the scowling face and immense stature, Dijak has an incredible intellect. It's also what makes him so dangerous. The anger that fuels him is compounded by his in-ring IQ. The Miz set for competition here tonight, but we never really know which version of The Miz we're going to see in action. Will it be the ruthless champion caliber superstar, or will we see cowardice win out? Cole, what you call cowardice is genius level strategy. Those titles that Miz has earned, that's because Miz knows when to fight and when to make the rules work in his favor. Well, if you ask me, The Miz is in for a fight in this one. Yeah, but Dijak thinks all eyes should be on him, though. And it's easy to see why. Just look at his mix of intense power, size, athleticism, and intelligence. Dijak stands out in a big way every time he moves. Wow, even Saxton gets it. Dijak is a true specimen, a true attraction. Feast your eyes indeed. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. And one more for good measure. You can feel the resentment building with each stomp there. If you were taking on the Miz in the ring, what's a distinct weakness of his that you would target? I personally don't see it, but some say Miz has too much pride. So I'd try to get under his skin. If you can get inside the Miz's head and push him off balance mentally, it'll be that much easier to pick him up. Is it enough here? Just gets the shoulder up. He really thought that was it. Gain complete control. Maybe trying to damage Miz's pride as much as his body with these attacks. The Miz looking off balance mentally here. Scores the reversal on Miz. Oh, what a choke slam. Toss them across the ring. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Heading up, he's thinking big. From way up, double axe handle. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Fortune favors the bold. These risks could be a winning strategy. Miz gets out of the way. Great counter by the Miz. as well. He foiled that attempt. Running Hurricane Rana! And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad! Come on, this isn't right. Boom! He switches it back around. Oh, nothing fancy with that boot. Dodges out of the way. He's got him down. Is this it? What is the ref doing? Don't worry about that now. Get down and count. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Yeah.
And Dijak clearly ready for a fight here. The point of the elbow finds the mark. Lifts their opponent's uh, legs. Uh, oh. just, that's a free fall. This could be it. Cover. And he kicks out at two. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Dijak was ready there. Up across the shoulders. Down right. Thanks for coming, Miz. Shoulders down. Oh, my. That was close. Oh, man. A second away from the Miz getting exactly what he deserved. Oh, Miz doesn't deserve any of this, Saxton. How draining was that? Can it be done again? Can that... Here we go. Nobody home. These men have been giving each other such a beating. And you can see the toll of that beating taking effect with every movement. He's able to fend off the attack. The Mizzard. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. Figure four leg lock applied. Ah, oh, just tap out, just tap. And he chooses to let go of the hold. But just the amount of time he was in that submission. He's going for the pin. A surprisingly fast victory here tonight. Clever is really the only word that can describe that victory. However you want to describe it, it certainly worked. Here comes trouble. The Judgment Day has arrived. One of the most dominant groups in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making her way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, the NXT UK Women. The Judgment Day growing more dominant every single night, and their accolades grow with every match. Now, this is a group that's almost impossible to prepare for. The Judgment Day plans for every scenario, always having each other's back. Well, they create chaos, and Judgment Day thrives in chaos. Just look at the Judgment Day. Powerful, dominant, and ready to unleash their anger. Expect no mercy. No concern for their opponent's well-being. Well, that's how the Judgment Day conducts their business. They want power at any cost. The L 
NWO looking to turn up the heat tonight. They're already feeling it. Already feeling the energy of the crowd. And representing the LWO from Queens, New York, Zelina Vega! Tremendous talent throughout this team, really honoring the legacy of the original group in WCW. And no doubt the LWO has done their predecessors proud. I'm looking at her right now, and I'm watching her body language, and her intimidation factor has got to be off the charts knowing she's facing Rhea Ripley. Her intimidation factor is zero. Zelina out here tonight, ready for competition. You know, don't let her size fool you. Zelina is as ruthless and as mean as they come once that bell rings. What she may lack in stature, she more than makes up for in status, Cole. Everyone's stock goes up when Zelina's around. So put some respect on her name. My sincerest apologies, Corey. We'll still have to see if Zelina will raise her own stock at the end of this match. And let's see if she's prepared to take on the nightmarish Rhea Ripley. At the core of her being, Rhea Ripley is one of the most physically dominant superstars in the WWE locker room. Yeah, Saxon, I think the confidence that Rhea has now makes her more dangerous than she ever was before. Whoa. Yeah. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Look at this. DDT, kneeling. Oh, Ripley put a stop to that. Power slam incoming. No. From behind into an inverted DDT. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. And he's taking this to the outside now. And that was a hell of a DDT there. Impressive reversal there. Wait a minute. Setting in. Devastating submission coming. Abdominal stretch. Fighting out of That's it. That's one way to get out of it. Effective arm drag. As of late, we've seen Rhea Ripley head down a sinister path. It has to be quite challenging going into a match with someone as menacing as Ripley. Ripley's dark side seems to cloud her judgment at times, Cole. She's become riskier with her attacks and pushing the rules of the ring. If her opponent can frustrate her and force Ripley to resort to risk cover, cover! One, and she kicks out at two. She's still as determined as ever. Firm control. What a poop. Face first off the knee. Uh-oh. Sit hard into the ring post. Oh dear, this doesn't look good. Ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. This match is wearing her down. Ripley delivered that move with every ounce of spite in her body. And that toss got some hang time. It couldn't have felt good being shot flying. Big miss right there. Ooh. Delivers a kick right to the gut off the ropes. Does the official not see him remove? Can she do it here? Just barely, but it counts. Zelina has her measured up. Catches the kick. Knee right to the face. Bullseye with the drop kick. Firm control. Oh, man. Kick to the face. Rhea Rip 
Ripley looking to force her opponent to quit. The prism trap is applied. You feel like home is starting. Looks like she has other plans here. I think she was just looking to soften her up a little there. Delivering nasty stumps. Going way up high. Taking flight. Nobody home for that one. Oof. Senton hits the target. Two-handed choke slam. And she knew Ripley's game plan. Uh-oh, got snatched up here. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Oh, what a counter. Rhea capitalizes there. Trap submission locked in. What's gonna happen here? I think she's getting up. And she releases the hold as she feels that enough damage has been done. Should have kept on wrenching. Why show mercy now? Whoa! Oh god! A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. Wow, springboard attack. Rhea had that scouted. She scores big with the counter. Electric chair counter. That's one way to create some separation. Oh, counters right into the bread basket. It's incredible how these women have been going at it in this one. What's really incredible is that they still seem far from finished. Lands in the drop zone. Shoulders down. And she fights it off. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. Oh, someone call a dentist. There's return. Fire on Rhea. Yeah. <laughs> Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Now it goes powerball. Hazardous situation for Ripley. Wow. After a kick out like that, you have to be impressed by Rhea Ripley. The heaviest artillery has been used, but it's not. Oh, look at this. Putting the pressure on. See, Cole, Ripley's frustration left her open to that attack from her opponent.
She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. From the top. Zombie. Rhea Ripley hitting that move with the crack of doom. certainly worked. Here comes main event, Jey Uso. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making his way to the ring from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds. You know, you got to think Jay's in a precarious position, not having the safety net of his brother or his cousin. But ever since he's broken away, he's earned main events and has even won more titles. He has truly become the main event. stars in WWE, but his following grows every single night. And Jay looks ready to deliver on his unbelievable hype. The Scottish Warrior has arrived. A multi-time world champion and a Royal Rumble winner. And to this day, one of the toughest fighters in WWE. the chosen one always doing what he can to claim and prove he deserves a top spot 
in WWE. Well, Drew has reached the mountaintop and knows how good that rarefied air can be. And he will do anything to stay there. Well, we know Drew is rarely ever in a good mood. And I got a feeling he's about to take out that bad mood on someone here tonight. Prepare to see a heavy, hard-hitting affair. Drew McIntyre set for competition. Talk about a superstar who never hesitates when it comes to bringing the fight to his opponents. Oh, yeah. Drew is always looking for a fight. And I would say he definitely found one this time around. Get ready to see the Scottish warrior on a warpath in this one, guys. And then we have Jey Uso, an extremely talented in-ring competitor who accomplished great things with his family by his side. But Jey doesn't need any backup to get the win. He can do it all by himself. Jay actually prefers to do things on his terms, to be in the driver's seat. He's ready to make a statement here that Jay Uso is a certified threat with or without someone by his side. Corey, what's the number one thing you have to do if you want to succeed against Jay Uso? You must keep your focus on Jay at all times. Jay is fast and an agile competitor who has the ability to strike from anywhere. Keep him squarely in your sights at all times. You won't be caught off guard, and you might find an opening of your own to attack. Sit out, Powerbomb! Outside. This could be good. Suplex. Was definitely not thinking about Whoa. finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. <laughs> Delivered into the barricade. These two trading one blow after another. Oh, so much pride, so much resiliency on display. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all out. Spear! Jay can seal it here. Scottish warrior refusing to lay down his sword just yet, but you have to think that took a lot out of him. Main event, Jey Uso with a close call right there. He definitely thought he had that one in the bag. Oh, McIntyre holding him at bay. He went right into that turnbuckle. And he's able to counter. Overhead, belly to belly, oh no! Oh my goodness, and it's Jay being on the receiving end of some fury there. Yeah, and that can be a building block for McIntyre to build upon. Really just laying it in. Boom! And Jay saw it coming. to Jay's offense. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. The ref's count ain't stopping. The clock is ticking here. Able to reverse. 
look at this going counter for counter. Pummels the shoulder. A quick reversal by Jay. Jumping clothesline. What agility. From the top. Oh, the elbow drop. Oh, it was a piercing elbow. For the win. Two. Jay Uso for the win. win for Jey Uso tonight. Main event, Jey Uso doing main event things. You have got to acknowledge that. I cannot believe this superstar would stoop this low. Guys, I don't even think this match is gonna be able to begin. Yeah, this competitor completely just throwing the rule book out the window. That arm might need medical attention. So there's the bell, and what started with an attack while making their way to the ring is now an official match. Always unfortunate to see violence before the bell like that. It just puts a big asterisk on this match. Make all the annotations you want in the record books. A W is a W. This is about winning by any means necessary. Oh, the elbow connects. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. And he very quickly counters. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. Springboard misses the target. Oh, kick right to the back. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. He takes control. Oh, that didn't go as set design. Just looking to humiliate his opponent. Bad predicament right here. Oh man, right to the esophagus. If I'm set and I want to guarantee a victory here, I'm thinking I might need to dig deep into the bag of tricks, open up my full arsenal of moves, pull out every technique I've ever learned. You know, Corey, with a playbook as thick as Rollins, using his full arsenal could take all night. But I see your point. Seth loves to keep his opponents guessing, and this would be the ultimate way to do so. Oh, the t 
he clearly set again. Agonizing. He steers clear of contact. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. And as this match rolls on, Rollins is taking on even more crucial damage. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. That was just malicious. Insulting. That's going to be a moment you want to forget it very soon. Picture perfect drop kick. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, oh knee right to the face. Oh man. Seth Rollins gonna put his opponent away. Revolution knee. for Corbin, and frustration might be starting to set in. There's been a lot of back and forth between them these past few weeks. Yeah, Cole, I don't know how this is going to... This is quickly turning into a slugfest. Big shots being fired right now. Neither competitor letting up. Neither competitor is backing down. Looks like a hockey fight just broken up. Toe to toe, treating each other like heavy bags. They are emptying their tanks, going back and forth like this. Up high, cross body. And into the count. Two. Now the trash talking after the victory. Emotions running high. And Byron, I'm not quite sure. This is what we, we expected to see. Okay, this is, no, this is not needed. This is uncalled for. With a steel chair. Oh, oh my God. Just look at it. Get some help out here. This proves nothing. I agree, Byron. Uncalled for.